Okay, so we're going to um, move on to lesson three of English. Um, yesterday you started writing your um, missing scene for Leon and the place between when Leon stepped inside the box and you used your plan to do that. Hopefully you should be using your plan to help you. Your ideas on there will be greatly um, used in your writing. Okay, so today we're going to look at paragraphing, why we use paragraphing, because that's a skill that we should be using um, in year three and in year four. So when... A paragraph is something that's been is used to organise our ideas. And the idea is that we need to know when you start a new paragraph in a narrative. So when we are doing a narrative, there are three ways that we can start a new sen a new paragraph. And that is a new event, when something new happens, when the time changes, so a new time, or when there is a new place. OK, so what do we do when we start a new paragraph? We indent, so if you remember, when we finish writing our first paragraph, we will go on to the next line and we'll use our thumb to indent and start writing from our thumb. And as we start the next line underneath, we'll go back to the margin so that it, um, it stands out and it's clear that where the new paragraph starts. Okay, so where are we gonna start our um, writing today? So yesterday we started writing um, the where Leon was falling. We didn't know where he was fallen, lots of feelings that he would have felt. So today we're going to move on and look at the next part of your plan. So this is where he lands on something. The idea that I came up the other day was a flying carpet or a lazy river or moon and stars. And we need to look at where he would go when he lands on that particular object or um, that area. And I'd said that he might see like a, a blue lagoon or dazzling stars around and he could feel himself gently drifting off into the lazy river. So our next paragraph is going to be all about him, where he lands. Um, and obviously that, um, that will mean that we are changing paragraph to see that, you know, he's been fallen, 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 further and further, like I said yesterday. And then all of a sudden he lands on something. Okay, so what could he have landed on? Um, like I said before, it could have landed on a uh, flying carpet, could have landed on Lazy River, like I said, um, in a rubber ring maybe, um, come down with a bit of a thump. What's happened in the story to show that we need to change paragraph? Well, the events changed, he was falling, and then all of a sudden he stopped falling because he's suddenly um, landed on something, okay? So we are going to look at an idea that I've got to take our writing further to look at this next paragraph. Like I said, um, last lesson, please take what you can from it. Take some ideas, take some vocabulary, try and make it your own. I want some nice chunky paragraphs um, going forward. Okay, so all of a sudden, Leon was no longer falling. Okay, so you see how then we've he was falling and then the next bit is starting the next paragraph to show that he was no longer falling. He had landed on what's that, what seemed, what, what, sorry. He had landed on what seemed like a giant donut. Okay. As he felt himself drifting along the lazy river, comma, because we've got our front of verbial there, he noticed a glowing blue figure approaching him. He was still quite a distance away. Slowly, he swept along the purple bubbling water and noticed the bubbles carefully forming and lifting towards the empty space ahead before they silently popped. Okay, so if you notice here, I've got lots of description, I'm trying to paint an image in, in my readers' minds of what it was like. Okay, so he's no longer fallen. He's landed on what seemed like a giant donut because obviously he's fallen. He doesn't know what he's fallen onto. This is a complete unknown world to him. So it feels like a giant donut. So that implies that it's got a hole in some in it, doesn't it? Because that's what a donut's like. And then this fronted up verbal that I've used here. The fact that we're, the, what we're told is he noticed a glowing blue figure approaching him. When did that happen? As he felt himself drifting along the lazy river. So as he was doing that, he noticed the glowing blue figure approaching him. Approaching him, good word, approaching. You could say coming towards him, um, ahead. But we've used that lower down. But approaching means it's getting closer, but it's not quite there. But I haven't just finished it there, okay? Obviously, as you know from looking at your plan, the next section is going to be about you meeting someone. That blue figure could be who I'm going to meet, but I haven't actually just rushed it. I haven't actually said, oh, he's approaching him and then he's, um, 
and then said, oh, who it was, it was a genie or whatever, okay? So I've, I'm then going further. He was still quite a distance away. So then I've got more time to explain. Slowly, he swept along the purple bubbling water. So again, it's describing the water that he's in. So what you're going to do today is you're going to continue writing using your plan. So you are going to write your paragraph for the next section. And then you are going to go on and do the last paragraph on your own. OK, so I expect when you send this in to us, we um, will be looking for three chunky paragraphs, OK, where you are showing that you are signaling that your paragraph is changing each time to show him falling, what he landed on and who he met. OK, you're probably going to end that last bit of writing with the fact that something's going to make him maybe want to go back. OK, does someone call him back? Does some does all of a sudden does he appear? back in the room with little Mo and his friends and Abdul Kazam, it's entirely up to you, okay? So remember, as soon as you've finished your piece of writing, check through it for any um, mistakes, make sure your handwriting is the best it can be, and then send it to us to have a look, and I can't wait um, to read it. See you soon.